I'm thankful that I can share this devotional with you today. And I'm thankful that I can share this devotional, uh, these next few devotionals about uh, God's love. It's so important that we have a good picture of what God's love is. If you've given your heart and life to Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, He loves you, brother and sister, and He loves you in a deep and meaningful way. Even though circumstances in our world might go one way or the other, He is with you and He cares for you. But we're losing track of that now a little bit with uh, all the things that have happened in our nation. And maybe we're not having the same feelings that we would like or or emotional feelings that we might have of uh, having a sense of God's care for us. It's not helped by our society either. You certainly are well aware of all the different love songs that are out on uh, the radio. And they usually talk about meeting a special someone and how that creates feelings inside of you. Here's one from Dan Hill, uh, the uh, song is called Never Thought That I Could Love. And it goes like this. I'm not going to sing it, but I will read the lyrics. Can I touch you? I can't believe that you are real. How did I ever find you? You are the dream that saved my life. You are the reason I survived. I never thought that I could love someone as much as I love you. I know it's crazy, but it's true. I never thought that I could need someone as much as I need you. This is a very popular love song that uh, has been uh, played, of course, uh, in our nation for the last uh, number of months. When we think of love, frequently we think of emotions. We think of meeting somebody special that's different than God's love, which is deeper and richer. And I'm going to read to you just part of Psalm 136. It's a psalm that repeatedly comes back to the love of God And I just want to point out one thing about God's love in contrast to the love that we might hear about over the radio or the lack of love that we might feel from uh, the events of these last number of months. Psalm 136, verses 1 through 3. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to to the God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. I'll give thanks to the Lord of Lords for his steadfast love endures forever. Steadfast is the adjective that describes love. What type of love? Is it an emotional love? It can be. Is it just caused from meeting somebody? Uh, It could have a part in that. But steadfast love makes it seem as if this is something that is continuous, that works its way out over time. And God's love for us, brothers and sisters, is consistent. And it rides through circumstances. And it is committed. And it is always for us. We might not have the same emotional highs that we hear about uh, through the playing of popular songs, but steadfast love means that he's with us in all circumstances. His steadfast love endures forever. We're not used to it forever. We're used to things coming quickly and uh, um, being able to be met by uh, quick responses, but God's love endures forever. I'm sure you've had a lot of feelings over these last uh, number of months feelings as if you're wondering what's happening uh, in our world, or feelings as if maybe you feel uh, abandoned or lonely because of some of the time of being uh, in quarantine. Just remember that God is for you. He is consistently for you, and his love doesn't spike and ebb. It goes on consistently and forever, and he is for you. The next devotion I'll do will share share with you another way as to how God's love is continuous and some things that maybe we haven't thought about for which he really does care about us. We care about you at the church, and we're thinking of, of you. May God bless you today.